Hi, my name is Justin and I help people understand Chapter 7 Bankruptcy in West Virginia. There are about 1,857 filings in West Virginia this last year, and many of which were Chapter 7 Bankruptcy. Today we're going to cover cost, qualification, whether you keep belongings, process, and pros and cons of a Chapter 7 Bankruptcy in West Virginia. You generally have to qualify for a, West, for a Chapter 7 Bankruptcy in West Virginia by using what's called the means test. You can use our free Chapter 7 calculator in the link below, which helps estimate your qualification and cost. You can generally qualify for a median family income guideline by falling below the allowable income for West Virginia. Here are the numbers for West Virginia cases filed after November 1st. You can always check our calculator for updated figures. The estimated cost of a Chapter 7 bankruptcy in West Virginia may cost between $1,000 to $1,500. Chapter 7 bankruptcy costs in West Virginia can depend on your location, complexity of the case, type of bankruptcy you file, or how much attorney interaction you have, and especially the attorney's expertise. For example, Chapter 7 bankruptcy costs may be different if you're filing in Morgantown versus Huntington. Many people are concerned they could lose their house, car, or valuables in West Virginia. Often people can protect these belongings, however, by using the bankruptcy exemptions. You can see our article below covering West Virginia bankruptcy exemptions. The process is important to understanding filing bankruptcy. Here are some questions to consider in the process to file. First, understand the different types of bankruptcy. Most folks file a Chapter 7 and Chapter 13 bankruptcy, and it's important to understand the differences. Chapter 7 is often cheaper and provides faster debt relief, but each has its own pros and cons. Second, understand which debts will be eliminated. Most unsecured debts are eliminated in a Chapter 7. Estimate whether you'll lose any property. You can check that by looking at the bankruptcy exemptions that I'll link it below. Third, estimate whether you qualify for a Chapter 7 bankruptcy. You can check that again by using the calculator below. Fourth, or fifth, excuse me, understand alternatives to bankruptcy. Six, understand the cost of filing a bankruptcy. Seven, determine whether you need to hire a bankruptcy attorney or not. Sometimes you're able to file without, sometimes you need. It just comes down to personal preference there. Eight, take a credit counseling course. 9. File bankruptcy petition and other forms. 10. A Chapter 7 bankruptcy is assigned to your bankruptcy filing. 11. Attend the meeting of creditors. 12. There's a confirmation of Chapter 7 bankruptcy filing qualification. 13. Take second mandatory debt education course. 14. Receive your bankruptcy discharge. As you can see, there's a ton of steps in the process, but some of the processes are just understanding if you'd like to file bankruptcy. Now let's cover the Chapter 7 and Chapter 7 pros and cons here. Pro, debt relief, it's going to often majority take care of most of your unsecured debt. Another pro, it's far less expensive than a Chapter 13. Another pro, it's much quicker than a 13. The speed of the Chapter 7 discharge is about 120 days compared to a 13, which is 3 or 5 years. Another pro, potentially you can keep your property through the bankruptcy exemptions. Another pro, it can stop your lawsuits and you won't have any more deficiencies. Con is you need to qualify, you may lose your property. It'll have negative impact on your credit. There's some non dischargeable debt that wouldn't be able to take care of it, and it's hard to pre prevent a foreclosure with a Chapter 7. Now that we've gone through some of the pros and cons, let's discover some, or let's discuss some of the alternatives. We'll cover some of the common Chapter 7 bankruptcy alternatives in this specific video. First, let's cover Chapter 13 bankruptcy. As I said before, Chapter 13 bankruptcy is a three or five year repayment plan where you restructure your existing debt into a three or five year plan. Now, you would have to make a payment each month to a Chapter 13 trustee and receive a bankruptcy discharge at the end uh, if, you, if you complete the plan. It's often much more expensive than Chapter 7. Many people file Chapter 13 because A, they don't qualify, or B, um, they may lose their belongings in a Chapter 7. Now, second, let's cover debt settlement. Debt settlement is where you or a company will negotiate and settle the debts with your creditors. The goal and the idea here is to reduce the payment you make and the burden of all your debt by around 50%. This will ideally help you lower your monthly payment, thus providing the debt relief. There are definitely pros and cons of debt settlement, so please do your research. Um, third, there's there's debt management. This debt management is often a non-profit credit counseling agency that negotiates the interest rate on your current debt. They may negotiate a high interest rate of 25% down to 9%. The goal is to reduce your monthly payment, and this may also be a three or five year plan. Hope this video has been helpful and if with your understanding of Chapter 7 bankruptcy. If you have any questions at all, please don't hesitate to reach out and please visit the articles below if they would be helpful. Thanks.